I think back on the African American people in America. I think how that they were taken against their wills, put in the belly of ships, brought over here, beat, cussed. Many of them died in the guts of those ships, thrown overboard. They were pulled from families over there. You ain't never heard a gut-wrenching song you hear a black person sing one of those old black Negro spirituals. Nobody knows. I can't sing it like that, see, because I hadn't experienced what they be. When you've experienced hell, it comes out of the voice. I say when you experience hell, it comes out of the voice. If you're one of those people that you got problem with black people or whatever, you better shut your mouth because they're God's people. You better hear what I'm saying to you. You better shut your, mu- you better shut your white mouth. <clears throat> you better shut your white mouth. I'm not kidding you. I know some of you is raised in the deep south and you is raised by prejudiced people and bigoted people. You better get that out of your system. You better get it out of your system. It'll cause you to suffer right along with those masters. It'll cause you to suffer right along with them. These are God's people. And I know that there's wicked and white races and wicked and black races and all that. I'm not justifying none of that stuff. I'm just saying God knows what happened to the black race. He knows how they wound up over here. And God is going to reimburse the black people for all their trouble and all their labor. You watch what I tell you. Watch what I tell you. Listen. You can actually see them, like the, the heads of them popping through. It's so gross. Look, you can start, you can see them starting to crawl their way out. This one's moving. Oh, gross. That is disgusting. I am never eating pork again. Designed to prevent your mind from reaching its true potential. All it was was government indoctrination. And people gobbled up lie after lie. All these lies serve one master agenda. And that's to remove God from creation. Their answer for a randomly created godless universe was the Big Bang Theory, which requires spherical-shaped stars and planets formed through gravity to even be plausible. It doesn't work if the Earth is flat. How could they go about creating a theory of how a flat Earth, with all the heavenly bodies revolving around it, could be randomly created without the intelligence of a supreme being? They cannot. A flat, geocentric Earth proves creation, and this is a huge problem for the people who possess the power here on Earth. And here's what it all boils down to. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate one or love the other. No one can serve both God and money. No one can serve both God and greed. The Bible clearly describes a flat and stationary Earth with boundaries, a beginning and an end, as all things have. So if the earth were flat, it would prove God's word. And Satan is constantly telling us the opposite of what God's word tells us. All of Satan's lies blind us from the truth and lead us further away from God. They work hard to try to hide God from us because no one can serve two masters. They want money to be your master. They need you to be a debt slave to their grand monetary Ponzi scheme because it is you, the common worker, that keeps this matrix alive and functioning. If people knew 100% that God is real, that there truly is an afterlife, and that this physical state we are in is only a tiny blip on the radar, they would stop showing up to their dead-end jobs working for slave wages, and they would stop being debt slaves to the bankers who rule over us, and people would choose to serve God instead of money. The entire system would collapse. These carefully manufactured lies all serve one agenda and that is to hide God so that we will continue to serve them and their debt-based money system and not God because no one can serve two masters. The people that's afraid of people wearing red, thinking people gang stalking them, yeah, they probably is gang stalking. But you gotta understand the reasons why they gang stalking. You gotta understand the reason why you're getting targeted. You must be somebody important. You must be somebody special. You know what I'm saying? Watch this person. You gotta keep your eyes open. They everywhere. They ain't 
Hoffman.com. This goes is weird. This is what I'm talking about. Now they hopped off the scooter, right? They was riding around scooters in the park right there. That's the same thing. You know why they gang stalking? Because they can't take the crime. They can't do the crime, they can't do the time. I'm a, if I do the crime, I'm going to jail. They can't go to jail. They got a gang stalk you. Or they sold out. Sell out to the system. This whack ass system. So, and then like, it's like this, right? Every time I think about a person or someone else that hasn't made it out of this shit, I fall to my knees and I pray for it. Because not only is people that are being gang stalked being persecuted, but it's people that's not even being gang stalked being persecuted by their families, by their friends. They're getting let down, they're getting set up. It's all kinds of situations that people are going through that people ain't bringing light to. And that's what my job is to do, bring light to the situation. So I'm so happy. So happy on this day. You know what I'm saying? Because you know what? Follow me, follow me, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Look, follow me, man. I'm so happy. You know why I'm so happy? Man, this this people are getting saved by just for me just speaking the truth. Walking this path, being who I am, living this life, actually living it. I was on the phone with my BM tonight. She practiced Buddhism. It's okay. Uh, I mean, that's what you want to do. That's your choice. You do what you do. However, you're talking about, I'm getting jazzy on the phone with you. Hey, man, I just called you up for a favor. Now, yeah, I did add you on Facebook, but I, I re deeply regretted me adding you on Facebook because I remember that you like to stalk niggas on Facebook. So I hurried up and took you up. Come on, come walk with me now. You ain't walking fast enough. Now, this is a beautiful part of the city, right? The land of the living water. That's what we want to get to. Y'all think this concrete, you think this is the best that y'all got to offer? What you get to heaven when your house is 240 miles long, baby? Ha 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 ha! Yeah, you getting persecuted. Yeah, you going through some things. But watch this, though. Come check this out. Get this out of this cam camera, man. Gang stalkers over here. Get this out of all that. Dude. The shot. Land of the living water, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's why we here, man. We living our best life. We gon' keep living our best life. I ain't dropped a video in a while. You know why? Man, look. First of all, I'm a man of many talents. I'm a man uh, I'm producing that a docuseries called Untold Stories of Black America. Uh, all these stories are going to be based on true stories. You know what I'm saying? Um, like, let's say, uh, like unarmed people getting killed, unarmed uh, people that tell their stories. You know what I'm saying? Survive, actually survive their stories. You know what I'm saying? So they actually be able to help other black people, young black people coming up, even people that's been through trauma. You know what I'm saying? Because you know us as black people, we've been through a lot of trauma, bro. You know, if you, you know, if you, I, I wouldn't. Grow, I, I grew up in 54th uh, in Highland, bro. Um, I went to uh, a lot of school, got in a lot of fights, been in jail, been, been through a lot of trauma, you know? So uh, in order for us to heal, uh, sometimes it's good to see a point of view from another person's perspective, you know what I mean? How they overcome their adversity, you know? So uh, the, basically the documentary is basically about certain people, they're gonna write in, uh, they've been wanting to write in to me, to my email, tell their story, 
and then we pick the best story out of the uh, emails that's been selected, uh, sit them down, have an interview with them. Um, and basically, uh, while they're talking, I want to reenact the scenes. The, uh, it's like three important scenes to their to their story. I'm gonna reenact the scenes with actors while they're talking. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, shit. You don't want it. That's what you said. I try to give you mine. Because I'm upset. Can I, can I, know, I grieve? Boo. I'm just can kidding. Why you gotta get so Can scared? I grieve? No. I can't. Yes, you can. Of course. Moving though. Yes, you are. I'm moving. 